So recently I announced I have a not so hidden agenda, an agenda that's not satisfied with solving first world problems, but also wants to address the deeper issues in our world. And one example of that is education. I work a lot with the higher education sector here in the UK and abroad. I'm proud of the work I do in education because with education comes empowerment. A good education allows you to escape the poverty trap, benefit society and bring about cultural change. Education changes lives. But education in the West is well established. Higher education do face a lot of challenges and those are challenges that I'm helping to address. But generally speaking, the future of education here is fairly secure. That's not the case in other parts of the world. Take, for example, India. In India, education among girls is shocking. 50% of girls in India fail to enrol in education. And of the 50% that do, only half of those go on to graduate. The sad truth is that girls in poor families in India are seen as a burden. When you're living on less than a pound a day, as 80% of families in India do, many feel that they're unable to support a girl. Girls are often aborted or killed after birth because the families see no other way. I can't begin to comprehend this kind of thinking, but then again, we can't begin to comprehend the lives that these people lead. For many poor families, the best that they can hope for is to marry off their daughter as soon as possible. Unfortunately, many girls are therefore married off as young as 13 years old. In fact, a shocking 75% of women in India are under age when they get married. This is why education is so important. Education has the power to break this cycle of poverty and abuse. Take, for example, the story of a girl called Rachel. Rachel and her sister came from a small rural community. Her family was so poor that they didn't own their own home. They lived in a hut on someone else's property. Her mother couldn't support both her children, so a charity called the Bethesda Project took um, Rachel in, a charity I've chosen to support with my business. Sarah and Simon, who run the project, housed, clothed and fed Rachel for the rest of her childhood. They became her family. But most importantly, they provided Rachel with an education. In fact, Rachel did so well at school that she got the qualifications she needed to study as a doctor. A young girl from a small rural community left her region, not the country, her region for the first time in her life and went to study in China. Can you imagine the culture shock? How brave she must have been. But she succeeded and now works in India as a doctor providing health care for the poor. And what of her younger sister, the one that didn't get that education? Her family married her off at 13 and she had her first child at 14. That's the difference that education can make. What Sarah and Simon do at the Bethesda Project blows my mind. I just couldn't do that. I couldn't live the life they've chosen to live. Chosen to live to help children like Rachel. The sacrifices involved for them is just beyond me. I'm too selfish, I'm too materialistic, but I can and do support them financially. And to be honest, I feel like that's the least I can do. Because what's the point of solving first world problems for users? How unimportant is that if we don't also address the real world problems of those around us? But let me leave you with some encouraging positive thoughts. Rachel's younger sister has already enrolled that child she had at 14 in the Bethesda School, a school that subsidises people like her. She recognises the power of a good education to change lives and I, for one, want to support her in giving her child a better life.